This video from Casio Help, we're taking a look at the SRS500 and in particular programming PLUs which also have a barcode. So what you need is the 500, your connected barcode scanner. If you haven't already done that, I've got another video showing you how to set up the scanner which will appear at the end of this video and you'll obviously need your barcode product as well. First thing to do, turn the key round to PGM, arrow down to PLU setting. If you've got cashier assignment set up, then you need to log in. Arrow down to PLU setting. Press cash amount 10 to go into that. If you know the PLU number you want to program, you can type it in now and press cash to jump straight to it. Or if you're starting from number one, you can simply press cash amount 10. This will bring up a list of all the PLUs in the machine. So we're going to program PLU number six arrow down to the one you want to program and press the CA amount 10 button. This brings up all the data, current data for this product. So if we arrow up to start with we can give the product a name. This button here will delete each letter from the default description and then you can use the department keys here to put in letters or you can use the buttons over here to put in numbers if required. Once you've typed in your description, you can arrow down to the price and give the product a preset price. You can arrow down to the tax status and assign a tax status by pressing cash amount end, toggling to your tax rate or the appropriate tax rate for your product. You can also assign it to a group or a department. I'm going to associate this product with department free. Open PLU means is the price variable, so do you want to dip, put in a different price each time? Obviously most of the time, especially if you're doing a barcode product, you're going to want it to not be an open PLU. Now we need to assign the barcode to the PLU. So when Go is highlighted, you press CA amount end, and this brings up advanced programming for the product. To do the barcode, you scroll straight down to the bottom so that the digits are highlighted. You then take your barcode and scan. Barcode is now in the PLU, so you can simply save by pressing subtotal, subtotal again, subtotal again, and again. Once you're back at the main PGM menu, you can turn the key around to the register position. Sign in again if you've got the cashier assignment set up. If you haven't, you don't need to. And then you should find that when you scan your product in the reg mode, you get your description and preset price appear. hope this video has been helpful. There will be other videos appearing now related to the programming of the 500. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.